Hello everyone, welcome back. We have a probability problem today. Two six-sided fair dice are thrown. The probability that the sum will be less than 12 is most nearly. All right, this is a typical dice problem. These dice are six-sided and we have two of them. And both of them are thrown simultaneously. Uh, so the question is, what is the probability that the sum will be less than 12? For all that we know, we know that just the probability of one dice, let's say dice one, is one over six that we know very clearly so this is two dice so you can break this problem into two by dealing with each dice separately that's a possibility so the probability of getting a six in one throne of one dice is also one over six. So this is dice one. The probability of getting a six is one over six. The probability of getting a six in a dice two is one over six. And that's the only possibility where we can have 12. Every other possibility will give you a value, a sum less than 12. So this possibility is the only situation where we can have the sum of 12. In other words, when we have the first die give you a 6, the second die give you a 6, that's only one possibility. So, the probability of these two dies, of getting a 6 and a 6 in these two dies, becomes 1 over 6 multiplied by 1 over 6. And that gives you 0 0.0278. All right? So that's the probability of getting a 6 and a 6, the sum of which will give you 12. But the question is, it said, what is the probability that the sum will be less than 12? So this probability that the sum will be less than 12 will be, the probability will be 1 minus 0 0.0278 This is the probability that the sum will be less than 12. The probability that the sum will be less than 12 is higher, is greatly higher than the probability of getting a sum of 12 because like I said, there's only one possibility of getting a 12. A 6 and a 6. Okay, but every other possibility will not add up to 12. So this probability is going to give you 0 0.972. Okay, that is your final answer. That is your final answer. Now, you can look at this problem another way, which is a long way. So your event, the, the, the possibilities in the throne of this dice is going to give you 36 possibilities, 36 events. Okay, the event will be 36. Now, if you look at the probability of getting a sum of 12 is still going to be the same as 1 over 36 which will give you the same value okay that's the probability of getting a 6 and a 6 of getting a 12 in this case of getting a 12 a sum of 12 so that's the probability of getting a sum of 12 and then again, the probability or 
the, the probability of non this is the probability of occurrence the probability of non occurrence is just like we did here will be 1 minus this value and of course it's going to give you the same the same answer 0 0.972 so that's a diff, that's a, a, a different approach uh, this is one approach in which uh, you know that the possibility of getting a 6 in one throne, in one dice, is 1. The second dice is 1. So you, put it, you, you multiply the two of them together, that gives you that value. And then you deduct that pro pro probability of getting a 6 and a 6 from 1. So that this actually is the probability of non-occurrence of a 6 and a 6, which is this. And again, if you want to go to uh, a, a, a very you know, elaborate uh, condition where you itemize all your possibility, all the possibilities in this scenario is 36. So if you divide 1 by 36, you get that. So the possibility or the probability of getting a 12 out of the 36 event is, is this value. And then the non and the probability of non-occurrence is this value. And that's, the, that, that's your answer. You get the same answer in any case. Uh, so please uh, review the, 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 the problem and uh, feel free to comment. Thank you for joining us.